This All meeting right, is on today's show. I just want a special guest. He's Jared Janiak. He's a senior small forward for Situate Boys basketball team. Jared, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing well, man. Thanks so much for being on the show. I really appreciate your time. Uh, it's really cool. You're, you're the first person I've had on from Situate, so it's, it's uh, great to have you on from, uh, from Situate. Um, so your basketball season has been underway. Uh, we just talked about it off there. You guys have played back-to-back, back-to-back games. What has been that NBA feeling schedule like? I mean, you just told me about, like, if you can tell the list of how many games you guys played recently. Yeah, it's been crazy because, like, literally every day this week I've had a game, so, like, no days off, and, like, we can't even, like, prep during practice for the games and, like, go over, like, game plans and defenses and stuff. We're literally just back-to-back-to-back-to-back. To back to back to back. Oh, my God. So, like, in those situations when you're playing in those games, like, you said you guys can't prep. Like, how do you guys kind of even just get ready? Like, is there, like, even a small film session or anything like that to kind of get ready for the next game, or you just kind of just take it as you get there? Um, we get there and we like go over it like in the locker room like beforehand and go over like defenses and like who to watch um, from the other opposing team and stuff. But yeah, we don't really watch film. We don't really have much time for that. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta be difficult. But what have been the what has been those games like that schedule been like so far for you guys? Um, it's been it's been hard, especially doing it like back to back to back, especially like getting sore and all that. But we're still just trying to get it done yeah that's tough man it's really tough well kudos to you and your teammates for uh you know being able to do that and you guys are pushing through it and it's tough i mean what's what's your schedule like coming up this upcoming week is it's going to be as crazy what's it going on okay so this week we had games monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and then sunday we have a game today senior nights monday and then tuesday we have back-to-back games versus davies monday and tuesday Oh my God! So all makeup games. All makeup games for the most part, yeah. Uh, we left them for like this last week. Oh my God, that's crazy. That's that's absolutely wild. But I mean, so for you guys too, just to talk about the overall season. You guys had a full senior. I mean, a full season. It's your senior year. I know it hasn't been the best season for you guys, but what's it been like? Have you been enjoying it? What's it been like for you guys? Yeah, it's been fun, especially because like all the kids on the team, like we're all friends. So, like, we all are close and stuff. So, it's been fun. We've been in, like, a lot of close games. And then, like, it always comes down to the wire. We end up, like, losing by a couple points. A lot of times it happens a lot. Yeah, that, that's, a tough, that's a tough situation to be in and, you know, to lose a tough one. But at least you guys are enjoying it. And at least for yourself being a senior, being able to get that full season in compared to the last year when you guys were in short sure. season. I mean, but what's it been like for you being a senior – you know, being a senior leader on the team, I mean, what's it been like for you just to be in that role? Um, it's It's been good. Like, it's a lot because, like, they expect, like, a lot out of you. But, like, um, like me and my teammates, we get, like, because we have, like, three captains on the team. So, like, we all step up and do our part. And, like, if someone else is, like, like not doing what they're supposed to and stuff, like, we always help them out. And, like, if they ever got, like, questions or anything based on, like, offenses, defenses, anything like that. Yeah, that's that's really great. And then for yourself, too, you're averaging about 16 points per game. I mean, what has that been like for yourself just to kind of, you know, step up and to be one of the main scorers? It's been good because, like, in the past years, I was, like, a role player. So I didn't get, it like, as many shots or, like, as many, like, the offense wasn't like kind of like around like me and like the the seniors and stuff. So it's been good. It's been really fun and stuff. But yeah, that's that's cool. Have you like, what's it like to to see the different defenses that might get thrown at you? Like, for you are you kind of like taking off guard at first and then you have to adjust? Yeah, because we we played St. Pat's um, Friday, right? And they were playing zone, but they played a box and one just on me. So as soon as I got, so there was a guy that was pressing me at half court, even like, so say my team was like shooting free throws, they were still playing defense on me. They were still blocking me off even during free throws. So they played like a box and one on me. And then as soon as I got the ball, they had a defender just come right at me. So you got to, on that situation, you got to like, just trust your teammates. Oh yeah. That's going to be crazy. I mean, what's a, have you, what was the adjustments to make like those like box and ones or even the triangle? It sounds like almost like a triangle too, too. Like they jump, it's not like they jump you on the, as soon as you get the ball. I mean, what's been the adjustment for yourself? The adjustment is like, just try to get open. And a big thing is like, just trusting your teammates. And like, if they're open, like just have them do, like it doesn't have to run through like the seniors or anything. Like just, if they're open, just ha- having trust in them. 
Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a different role for sure. And it's awesome. I mean, it says a lot about yourself. And it's, it's almost like a compliment when they start doing that stuff, right? Yeah, uh, the coach came up to me. He was like, we had to double team you because you're a good player. <laughs> that's great, yeah. That's funny. Coach Rack is a great guy, so that's awesome. That yeah, that was him. Yeah. Uh, that's great. I mean, it's uh, such a good compliment. I mean, it, it sucks in some sort of way, but it's also a good compliment that these teams are doing that for you. So that, that's great for yourself. And how many games are left on the season and your senior year? Okay, so we have times two today and back-to-back -back Davies Monday and Tuesday. So three yeah. games left. That's awesome. What's the one thing, you know, you're wrapping up your senior year, what's, what's the best thing you can look back on? Um, just like being able to like play out there like with my friends and just having like a good time and okay. stuff like that. Yeah. That's great. That's awesome. And now in your overall your season, so we'll just talk about this season first and then I want to ask about just the past years. Overall this season has was there a favorite game that you had this year? Um, definitely Highlander. Um, so we were down it was like a close game back to forth and we came down like five points and uh, we were down like five points and one of the players on the team hit like a clutch three and then um, we got a defensive stop and then we got another bucket. So we ended up winning by four and we came back. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That I would definitely crazy. say one of those, one of the best moments this season. That's so cool. And then what about overall in your uh, basketball career? Was there like a favorite game or something like a favorite memory that you had? A favorite memory, I would say last year when one of our teammates versus Moses Brown hit like a game winner half court. Oh, that, yeah. that was a that was a cool moment. I remember that. I did see, I remember seeing that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's 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 really cool. That that's awesome for yourself. Um and now during the off season last during this past off season you played for the, the RI Knights. What was the experience mm -hmm. like playing for the RI Knights? Really good. I've been with them like playing for them since ninth grade. So I've been like a lot of seasons with them. Uh, Todd and like the whole Iron Knights is really good. I really like the program. I'll be back there again after this season. That's cool. What's it like for you guys to like play against different competition just across, uh, you know, New England or even across the States? Yeah, it's it's cool because like you play against like different kids that like you've never like played against and like you get to like play other like other like states and stuff with like your friends like on your AAU team. So it's, it's cool. That's cool. And what's also like to team up with some guys around the round that you usually face in the regular IRL season, but then you end up teaming up. Yeah, that's, that's fun too. Seeing them um, like being teammates with them, but be like opponents versus them in the season and then being teammates with them after AAU. It's, it's really fun. That's really cool. What's uh you know, playing with Todd and like the RI Knights, what's it been like just playing with Todd, like having a guy like Todd, like, you know, be a mentor and everything like that. It's really good. Yeah, Todd's, Todd's a great guy. He's always, like, there for, like, all the players and stuff and, like, trying to get you, like, out there and stuff. So, yeah, really good. That's cool. And then so your offseason, too, I want to ask, like, for yourself, I mean, for you to be, you know, the guy this year and, like, you know, based on his defense, what would you do during this offseason to kind of, you know, take that next step up to be the guy this year? Oh, I've been, like, practi like practicing a lot and playing, like, AAU and stuff, just really just practicing a lot, almost every day. What was the, you know, what'd you do by yourself to like, what'd you do? Did you work out with anyone or just do everything by yourself to kind of get to where you need to be? Um, I did a lot of like by myself, like practicing by myself and also going to like open runs and like at like the court, like courts and stuff, just like practicing with like people and stuff, but mostly just by myself, just practicing. That's great. And then- And like AU and stuff like that. That's cool. That's awesome. And then for yourself, I mean, I had this conversation with a coach over uh, at Orangeville um, up in Canada. We had this conversation. Did you like create like a regimen schedule for yourself to get so you can get to where you are this year? Um, yeah. So like I would say like practicing like om like almost every day and make sure like I don't like take days off and just practice. I would say. That's awesome. Now, how important was that for you to do that? Really well, because it got me like a lot better from last year to this year. And like just getting in like conditioning for basketball was a big thing too. That's awesome. That's from right. last year. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. It's all good. From like last year, because like last year we literally were like stuck in quarantine and then boom, went right into basketball season. So like a lot of like the people weren't like conditioned, especially like me. So like after like this season, I made sure I was in condition, ready for basketball season when it came around. So I practiced a lot and made sure I was there for this season. 
That's great, man. That's awesome. And it just says a lot about you. Obviously, you've hit off this season and everything that you're doing. Um, I know the season's coming to an end, and, you know, congratulations on, you know, playing basketball, being in high school. It's a privilege to play a high school sport and uh, being able to play all four seasons and, uh, you know, being at Situate and, you know, being the guy. So congratulations on your season, and I hope basketball continues on and, uh, you know, after high school as well for yourself. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Of course, of course. All right. So I want to get into the five questions I usually ask people that are just more outside of basketball and just some fun questions as well. Um, favorite food I got to ask? Oh, uh, pizza. Pizza? Any kind of pizza or is it just like? Any kind of pizza. I like all like the toppings and stuff. What's what's the spot? If I'm going up around the Situate kind of get to area, what's the spot that I want to go stop at? Um, I, w- I really wouldn't even say this is really a spot. They have like famous pizza, which a lot of people go to in Situate. And oh. then, um, like Uncle Tony's and Johnston, I would say something like one of those. All right. I'll have to check those out next time I'm up in the area. Uh, what's your favorite basketball shoe? Shoe have to be the PG, PG ones. Yeah. I've been rocking those. Like I just get different colorways of them. Since even though they're like an old pair of shoe, I still I still wear them. Are they just comfortable or is it just what, what is Yeah, it? I don't know. Like I have I have other shoes and like I don't even wear them. Like I have like Kyrie's and stuff. I literally just don't wear them. So I don't know. They're just really comfortable. They're like low top. So I don't know, just PG ones. I just always just get new colorways and just rock those. Nice. That's awesome. And then do you have a favorite uh NBA team or favorite player? NBA team, the Selk Dicks, 100%. And I would say, like, Tatum or Brown, one of my yeah. favorite players. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't do anything, like, uh, trade any of those guys or anything like that. But uh, it would keep the squad together. They seem to be paying off now. Yeah, they're, they're on, what, a uh, six, seven game win streak? They've been winning a lot. Yeah, and they played yeah, play today, today, too, as well, as well, playing the Hawks. But we'll see how well, how well they do with that. Um, and then what's your favorite thing to do outside of basketball? Um, probably just, I would say like, just hang out with my friends and stuff like that. I would say that. Nice. That's awesome. Well, Jared, it's been awesome to have you on the show. Great speaking with you, man. Congratulations on uh, the senior season. Um, you know, keep doing what you're doing. I hope, uh, it takes you to the next level as well of basketball and looking forward to, uh, you know, talk to you down the line for sure. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. Of course. No problem, man.